Hey, Redcon Raider here. Today's video is dedicated to Woe77. Thanks for your support, Woe. That said, let's get started. Welcome back to Phoenix Point, Backer Build 4. Well, my air conditioning is fixed and I'm no longer being cooked alive, so I thought it was high time we returned to the post-apocalypse already in progress. Of course, before we do, I should remind you that this is just an early pre-alpha. They haven't really done much in the way of balancing or optimization just yet, and there's a lot of unfinished and placeholder content. We can get a good general idea of where the developers are headed with this current build, but we won't see things like research, base building, story progression, and uh, a lot of mid to late game content. Not until future builds, anyway. That said, let's get back to exploring the content we do have access to. First up, I think we've got a couple of level ups to take care of. And we've got a couple of new recruits on our roster. Let's take a look at our options here. Alright, looks like Valenrook's up a level. Of course, we'll grab Return Fire. And we'll grab Expert Packer, too. That should come in handy. Then we'll dump the rest of his points into speed. Next we've got Mike Spark, our lone engineer. Looks like he gains access to Technician Repair, though we will have to boost his willpower first, so let's take care of that. I think he could also stand to uh, get some more firepower, so let's grab Grenade Training while we're here. Explosives are pretty much mandatory in the current build. And let's get those grenades equipped. Then we've got King's Rook, who's basically our point man. He'll get return fire too, and... We'll just dump the rest of his points into willpower and speed. Then we've got Nathaniel Thompson, who I think is our last level up. He'll get Heavy Lifter, of course. That's pretty much mandatory for a Heavy. And we'll dump the rest of his points into speed. He's definitely going to need it. Okay, I think we're done. Oh, we uh, do actually have to offload some gear. I'm not sure if it's going to stay this way in the final game, but right now we only have six slots per soldier, so it's important not to send them into combat overloaded. Not if you're hoping to pick up more loot, anyway. Alright, let's get back to it. Now, I did want to push into North America today, but I'm starting to have second thoughts. I made the conscious decision to leave this alien nest intact, but it's also directly threatening our base, so we really can't afford to stray too far. With that in mind, let's hold off on North America for now, and instead, we'll see if we can set up some sort of home garrison. Let's head back to Phoenix Base Alpha, free up some room on the Mana Core, and then we can revisit those recruits we skipped earlier. Oh, <laughs> or we can deal with that. Just as well, I suppose. We could use the extra equipment. Let's just hope we get there in time. Oh, yeah, they're holding pretty steady. Okay, let's do this. 
Alien crabmen. Defending key structures. We've seen all this before. Well, let's have a look at the map. Oh, that's interesting. They've got some sort of alien growths all over the place. That's a nice touch. That's a new key structure, too. Some sort of water purifier, maybe. Oh, and uh, some sort of computer workstation, too. Alright, looks like we're up against heavy gunners again. Thick armor, machine guns, and grenade launchers, so we're in for a fight here. We'll need to take those weapons out as quickly as possible. Let's knock down that stall, get a clear line of sight here. Not bad. More importantly, that should give us a chance to finish him off. Hmm. Not great, but that's fine. We've got plenty of guns. Okay, Mark, let's see if you can take out that machine gun. I guess not. Well, let's try that again. We'll just go center of mass this time. Close. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to tap him one more time. Oh, we've got another one in sight. We can probably take that one down with explosives. <laughs> Not even close. Not worth wasting a missile on him either, so we'll just move up for now. There's another one. Oh, that guy might actually be a problem. <laughs> nice! Now that was a lucky shot. That guy's willpower is basically crippled at this point. He'll be panicking every other turn. Now let's see if we can do something about this other guy. Hmm. Can't throw it far enough to get it through that window. You know what? Let's just tuck Rook into the corner here. We'll have to take our chances. Okay, I think we're done. Let's see what these guys do. Okay, hiding in a corner. Hey, 
and there goes one of the water purifiers. All right, let's move up aggressively and see if we can take these guys out. Now this guy's pretty much done for, well, we don't really have to worry about him. Yep, there go both of his weapons. We can just let him bleed to death. Now let's focus on this guy. Got a little too close there. We'll have to be more careful. Yeah, you don't want him to have a clear line of sight on whoever's shooting at him. Can't return fire if you can't see what's firing at you. Nice hit. Almost there. Ah, shoot. One more. Okay, well, we've got our flanks exposed, so let's see if we can take that new guy out with a long shot. No, he's pretty well entrenched there. Well, let's just hope he can't reach us in a single turn. Nicely done. That just leaves one more known threat on the board. Okay, well, it looks like he's focused on that objective. Alright, let's finish this. Oh, and uh, let's grab that loot while we're here. Not bad. I should try to work a flamethrower into our loadout at some point. Well, 
last known locations on that balcony, so we should be fine as long as we hug full cover. He didn't fire this turn. That means he's probably on the move. Yeah, no telling where he got off to. We'll have to be careful here. A close range burst from that machine gun could kill one of our soldiers. There we go. Looks like he was trying to flank us. All right, Mark, here's your chance for redemption. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, Mark, what am I going to do with you? That's fine. We've got explosives. Hmm. Let's see if we can get a better angle here. Come on. There we go. Ooh, took out one of his arms. Looks like the grenade launcher. He's still got a machine gun, though. Okay, Rook, you're up. Let's get you in there. Gotta be kidding me. All right, you know what? Let's just do this the easy way. Nice. Looks like we protected most of the objectives. Took one minor injury, but... 
got four level ups in exchange. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> That's a pretty modest reward, but I guess it was a pretty easy fight. Well, let's take care of those level ups and then we'll start that recruitment drive. We'll unload the loot first this time around, just so I don't forget about it. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Nathaniel Thompson is up a level. He's not quite ready for Devoted just yet, but we will grab Jetpack Proficiency. And the rest go into speed. Yeah, that's good. Ah, looks like Revenant's up a level, too. Nothing on his personal track is really jumping out at me, but that's fine. He's about to get his second class, so we can use those points elsewhere. Let's make him an Assault Hybrid. That'll make him a little more mobile, and once he hits level 5... We can justify carrying multiple heavy weapons. And then I guess we'll put the rest of his points into speed, of course. Doll is up a level, and she's got a couple of stat boosting perks, but nothing worth investing in just yet. We will take Gunslinger, though, which means we have to boost her willpower. And that leaves us a little left over for speed. Yeah, we'll just go all out. Nothing for Valen. And Mark is up a level. Hopefully this will make him a little more effective on the battlefield. We could give him Mounted Weapon Proficiency. Those missiles are pretty powerful. You know what? Let's go crazy here. We'll dual class him into Assault, and uh, then we'll also grab that Mounted Weapon training. He'll basically be a human Swiss Army Knife. He's definitely going to need more strength. Alright, that's everyone. Let's make some final adjustments to our loadout here. We could use more missiles. We just need to make sure we have enough left over for at least four new recruits. Now Mark, what are we going to do with you? 
Well, I would like to keep him color coordinated, but. <laughs> Looking good, Mark. Well, mismatched armor aside, that should definitely make it more effective. Very resource intensive, though. In fact, let's make sure everyone's got missiles to spare. Shouldn't be too much longer before we start running into tougher enemies. Okay, let's go pick up some new recruits. Oh, but uh, before we do, we have to empty some seats here. Let's see here. There's one. Nice, new sniper. And an assault. Very nice. That would be the armadillo. And we'll have to come back for that later. Another assault. I guess I can live with that. We could really use another heavy or technician, though. Another assault. Alright, well... That's fine. We'll have no shortage of assaults to watch the base. Ah, looks like Camp Vera's under attack again. Poor guys. Oh, but... Hold on. Looks like the two alien nests have combined into an alien lair. That means we might actually see some of the stronger enemy types. All right, um, we don't have enough time for another tactical mission right now, but I do want to check that out next time. Let's hit the pause button for now. I'll uh, get our squad set up and get these new recruits renamed, and we'll pick up here next time. See you then. Oh, and remember, although I do love talking about Phoenix Point, you can find out more about the game by visiting the official website, the official YouTube channel, the official Discord channel, the official Facebook page, the official Twitter feed, the official development roadmap, 
or the original crowdfunding campaign over on Fig. You can also get your hands on a copy of Backer Build 4 for yourself by pre-ordering the game on the official Snapshot Games web store. As always, links are in the description.